Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we will learn about creating an automated data entry form in Excel. So let's move to Excel Windows and see the demo file first. So here you can see that I have already developed an automated and very simple dynamic form with the help of some text box control, option button, command button, uh, sorry, a command, uh, combo box and command button and this is the list box control which is showing uh, whatever the data is available in our you know database so let's make some entry over here so this is the entry which i have made let's click on save button and here it's asking do you want to save the data let's click on yes so once you click on yes now uh, you can notice that uh, this there are only seven records available in our database and once you click on yes the the eighth record will be added over here in i mean in database and as this particular list box is you know dynamically connected with the database it will start showing the next record the recent record which we are going to enter so let's click on yes now you can see that this is the record which we have uh, entered here right so uh, let's click on the close button go to the database and now you can see that all of the details have been captured here right so this is very simple and dynamic form and with the help of this uh, you can make entry and you can see the live data entry like whatever the data has been entered by user and this is the reset button with the help of reset button you can reset the form like uh, suppose you have updated a couple of fields and now you are thinking okay you do not need to uh, make entry we need to you need to make some other entry right then you can click on yes and it will uh, whatever the field has been updated by you it will be cleared so let's click on close this and press ctrl w to close this particular uh, automated form and let's start developing this form uh, form uh, from scratch so to create a new file press ctrl n and go to file press uh, click on save as browse and give the designated uh, path over here so i am just going to uh, select the same path where i have kept the uh, demo file let's move to excel and give the path over here click on save and make sure uh, you have uh, you should select the save as type macro enable file otherwise you will not be able to retain your you know uh, the code whatever the code you will write right so let's give the name click on save now you can see that uh, this has been successfully saved simple and dynamic automated form in excel if uh, your window like if excel has no developer tab then you can go to file and then click on option and in excel option click on uh, select the customize ribbon and in customize ribbon in the next group just uh, tick the developer tab and once you like uh, check this click on ok and after that you can see the developer tab is visible over here right so here we need two separate sheet one is for ho uh, home and one is for database so let's uh, rename this first sheet as home go to view and remove the grid lines like untick the grid lines uh, and uh, now you can see that uh, this is the grid lines is not visible now click on insert and under illustration group just click on shape and under shape just uh, select the rounded rectangle and draw a rounded rectangle over here in the middle of the screen right just select this shape and go to format shape effect preset and select this one the preset number four right click on uh, shape and edit text enter launch form okay just select this form or uh, this shape go to home tab and click on center and then middle and the size should be 40 okay so now you can see that uh, this particular button is ready and we will utilize this button to launch the form now we need uh, one more uh, worksheet over here for database so let's click on new sheet and give the name as database let's quickly uh, type the header So 
so we have uh, entered the column header over here let's make the uh, resize the column okay and now let's uh, assign the color back color font color is white font size little bit uh, bigger like 12 select this range maybe a1 to 21 and apply the border all border now go to view tab and untick the grid lines okay so our uh, the database sheet and the home sheet both are ready uh, let's quickly uh, develop uh, design the form and then start uh, uh, the coding so let's go to developer tab and uh, under code group just click on visual basic so once you click on visual basic you will be jump to microsoft visual basic for application here we need to uh, insert in the form so let's click on insert menu then user form so here you can see that uh, one user form has been started uh, reflecting over here let's uh, resize the user form so the height uh, should be 325 so change the height 325 and the width should be 578 so here width should be 578 okay just move on top of uh, the properties and give the name as frm form and the caption should be caption is basically this one so we are going to uh, change this so let's give the cop caption as automated okay so now you can see that uh, the form and width and height and name and caption it has been set for this particular form so let's uh, add uh, two frame one is for uh, the field text box control and others and one is for list box control to show the data so let's uh, this is the form in toolbox you can see that this is the frame basically frame and just click on frame and start drawing the frame over here okay now uh, change the frame caption as enter details okay and the border color should be border style select uh, single this one and the border color so let me select the blue one okay so this is blue one now again we need to enter one uh, more uh, frame so let's click on frame and just draw this frame from here to here okay and just uh, give the caption as database right and change the border style should be single this one the second one and maybe uh, the border color should be uh, select the any of the border color like uh, maybe this one okay any of the color uh, which you want so we have created two frame one is for enter details like this is a group and one is for database uh, that is for list control so let's quickly start adding uh, the label first up level so so label we need six different labels so this is first level make it uh, copy this paste it over here and okay let's change the name uh, caption of label so this is for employee id this is for employee name this is for gender okay now we need to add text box control for uh, employee id employee name so let's click on text box and draw this make it a little bit more in this one yeah just copy this text box move it to here paste it over here and move it to the aligned like this one right maybe okay now we need to insert two option button one is for male and second one is for female so let's 
click on option button and then click on form and here uh, just make it a little bit smaller and again copy this and paste it and now adjust this here okay so we have two uh, option button one is for male one is for female now we need to insert uh, uh, the label and control box basically for department city and you know country so let's copy this control control v and move it over here okay now give the uh, label as department and here the city and this is really for country and remove the this one the option button because we need to utilize the text box control copy this text box paste over here and just keep it over here okay now we need to uh, command button so let's click on command button over here again again one more button for reset just align this and this align this let it here make it a little bit uh, the frame should be smaller and this frame should be a little bit more bigger right okay so uh, you can see that we have successfully uh, created all the labels control you know control box basically uh, the text box option button and department command button over there. let's quickly uh, change the name and you know the caption for each and every uh, control here so let's uh, this is for employee id so let's leave the txt id this is for employee name so the txt name this is for mail so this is for mail so then opt mala and the op caption is mail right this is for female so opt female and the caption should be female this is uh, so basically uh, here we are not going to utilize a uh, text box for department so let's remove this department text box and uh, we need to utilize the combo box so let's click on combo box and this draw this combo box over here okay so now you can see that uh, we have successfully created the combo box let's change the name as cmb D -B -A -R -T, department right and city should be or uh, txt city and this is for country so txt country and this is for command uh, for save so cmd save and the accelerator key, uh, key should be you know s and the back color should be maybe this one and the caption should be save and the next command button is for reset so let's keep the name as c c m d r e s e t reset and the back color should be red and the caption should be r e s e t reset and the accelerator is r okay so we have uh, successfully assigned the name for each and every control and caption for that let's uh, give the tab order for each and every field so let's select this text box go to down and here you can see that tab index is 3 so let's change from 3 to 1 and then assign this should be 2 this should be 3 and 4 5 6 7 and this is for 8 this is for 9 now we have successfully uh, given the tab order in everything so now we need to uh, add one list box control over here in database section basically in the frame so let's click on this one list box and quickly uh, create the list box over here okay now give the name as LST database 
database right and here we need to assign the tab order for this uh, database as well so let's select the list and the tab order so the last tab order was you know i think nine then you can see that this is for nine so let's uh, give the tab index as 10. so you can see that uh, we have successfully and design the form where we have uh, six different type of fields like employee id employee name gender department city country and we have two different uh, no button that one is for save one is for reset and there is a list box for a database to show the data basically so let's quickly start writing the code Now we need to insert one module so let's click on insert menu and click on module so insert module we need to write the code so let's start the writing to writing code so let's start the writing code for reset so the name should be a reset so we should start bracket and close bracket and give some room over here and start writing so first of all we need to declare one variable so uh, dim i row as long and the i row is basically to contain uh, the last column and so last row value so i row is equal to and we need to use excel function that is count a function so so in you know in square bracket we will give the count a and the formula that is database worksheet and then we are a and a right and then bracket close so let me give the uh, commentary over here so identifying the last row so basically this particular uh, uh, line of statement is to identify the last row uh, of the database so suppose we have two entries so it will uh, return two like the row will be three one is for header and two is for row okay now let's start the writing code so with frm form frm form is for we are going we are referring this form and enter and width so let's txt id dot value is equal to blank dot txt name dot value is equal to blank dot uh, opt mail this one dot value is equal to false opt female dot value is equal to false okay basically we are you know initializing the all those controls like uh, we are resetting the this control so that we can use this code uh, while initializing the window as well as whenever user will click on reset button uh, we will use this code right so male is equal to false and female now we need to uh, clear the combo box to so dot cmb department dot clear so whatever the uh, the items uh, which will be available in combo box that will be clear first of all and then we will uh, start adding cmb department dot add item and the first uh, department will be hr then again cmb department dot add item and the operation cm cmb dot add item and then training cm cmb department dot add item quality so we uh, we have added uh, four different type of departments if you want to add more departments just you need to replicate the same line of code like again and again and change the on the value whatever the values is available in double code right so as of now we are going to consider only four department okay now we need to clear the txt city dot value is equal to blank and then txt text uh, country dot value is equal to blank okay so and uh, like we have already uh, reset all those value the value available in the top section of this form now we need to uh, uh, 
uh, initialize the list box uh, which is available in the bottom frame basically so first of all uh, we need to uh, set the column count so as we have six different of uh, values entered by user and one is serial number that is automatically generated and you know two different values like submitted uh, submitted by and submitted one so all those fields are nine fields basically and nine columns in our database so let's uh, give the lst and database dot column count is equal to nine so we have nine different columns so that's why for this list box we are giving column count count as nine and again uh, dot lst on database dot our column like uh, in our database worksheet we have a header section so let's click on uh, let's select the column headers is equal to true okay now we need to give the column uh, width of this particular list box if you want to uh, ignore this particular line of code then you can ignore but uh, this is for learning purpose i am providing over here providing here okay so let's lst database dot column width okay and then equal to and in double quote we need to give uh, the width of each and every uh, column so let's start 30 30 is for serial number 60 is for employee id and 75 for employee name then again 40 60 45 55 and the submitted on 70 and submitted by 70 so you can count here we have provided the width of uh, all those nine columns one two three four five six seven eight nine right now we need to uh, give the reference of uh, a database like we need to give the reference or assign the data uh, row source basically to list box suppose we have only one uh, no, row that is you know the column header and there is no records so in that case we need to assign some different source and if we have more uh, multiple rows like uh, database uh, data then we need to assign uh, some different row source so here we are going to validate if i row is equal to 1 if i row is greater than 1 okay so in this case uh, we need to assign uh, lst database dot row source and in double quote just give the name data database is worksheet right so database and then exclamation sign and then the range should be start from a to 2 i and here we need to give the row number as i row else dot list uh, lst data so database dot row source is equal to data database a2 column i2 close and if clear all this space extra space so the reset code is done here let's go to debug and compile the bb project now we need to add uh, the code for a uh, submit i mean save button so let's click on down here and give the name as sub submit right and open bracket close bracket give this some space over here okay let's declare a variable for worksheet to deem as such as work sheet and one variable to hold the uh, last row number basically the blank row dim i row as long okay and let's uh, assign the uh, worksheet name to sh variable so set sh sh is equal to this book dot sheet and the name is database right and i row should be again we will utilize the count a function over here so let's uh, start you know uh, square bracket and in under like in a square bracket we need to write the code like excel formula count a and then 
database worksheet a colon a so this will return uh, the last uh, row where the data is available right the count of that you know we need to add one to identify the next blank row so we will add plus one over here now we have like worksheet name as well as the next blank row so let's start writing the code with with sh and end with so dot cells so cell uh, this particular function dot cells as you know two parameter one is row index and column index so we have already i row so let's i row and the column index is first so first of all like we have to enter serial number let's start writing equal to then i row minus one because see uh, uh, i row will uh, be the serial number suppose we are on third number row it means we have only uh, two uh, like we have only uh, one entry one is for header first row one is for uh, uh, record that is second row and we are in third row it means this is the second record that's why i am deducting one from i row right and let's copy this line of code paste over here and change the reference like from one to two let's keep the space and now let's how is it frm form dot txt text id and dot value okay let's copy this code this is for id this is for name so let's column number will be three txt name and again copy this line of code and the column name a uh, column number should be four here four is basically for uh, uh, gender so we will utilize double if function and frm form dot opt female dot value uh, is equal to true then the value will be female otherwise it would be male okay so let's copy this code line of code and here this is column number five okay and uh, here we need to give the combo box name like cmb deprt department dot value okay and let's copy this five six seven eight so let's change the six seven and eight and copy one more line of code this and this is for nine column number nine okay so we have a department value for five six is for a txt city and this is for txt country okay now here uh, this is for uh, submitted by so for submitted by we will utilize application dot username so it will give the username of uh, the application who is running this application and here we need to again uh, use the excel function under square bracket so the function will be text and then open bracket and now uh, we need to give the time now now function then comma and under uh, in inverted comma let's start dd mm yyy hh mm ss okay so this is done and uh, let's close this uh, like uh, remove the extra space over here now we have successfully uh, written down the code for submit now let's add one more sub, uh, sub procedure for uh, to uh, launch the form so sub show underscore form right and here uh, frm form dot show okay so we have written down three different codes in our you know uh, procedure sub procedure basically in module one is reset one is submit and one is 
show the form let's move the move to uh, form window and let's start writing the code for sub save here uh, we need to declare one more variable so dim msg value value as vv message box result msg value is equal to message box do you want to save the data and vv yes no plus vv information and here uh, the heading should be confirmation like title confirmation right close the bracket if msg value is equal to vv no then exit sub else like if that user will select yes then this particular line of code will not run basically and it will start running from here so we need to call call submit and then call reset okay so the, this particular of uh, no, sub procedure will submit the data and this uh, sub procedure will reset the form and uh, refresh the form basically so let's uh, copy this line of code all these line of code like here uh, let's copy all the code available in the sub cmd save go to form and here click on reset and under reset just paste the code uh, remove the sub call submit and here uh, do you want to save so we need to change the uh, reset the form okay so here we have successfully written down the code for reset and save so let's uh, debug compile vv project now you can see that there is no error now we need to uh, write a code for uh, uh, initialize the uh, form basically initialize the form so let's copy this call reset and again go to form double click on form right and here like select the initialize this one remove the double click on the click event here and just paste the call reset now go to debug and compile now click on a uh, jump to uh, microsoft excel let's assign the code assign macro and select the show form click on ok so we have successfully assigned the the macro on this particular uh, shape that is button let's click on launch form and here you can see that uh, this particular database like list box has been successfully added you know uh, interlinked with the database worksheet and we have all those fields over here right so let's make some entry and see so as of now we do not have any records uh, any record available here right so let's enter 255 and maybe my name Dilip Kumar gender male and the department is you know quality and city GGN and the country India let's click on save here it's asking do you want to save the data yes I think there is some error right okay so we forgot to close the bracket here so let's put bracket over here and you know just click on here so now you can see that uh, this particular line of code has started working let's add one more uh, 582 India let's click on save yes now it's working let's want to let's click on save so now you can see that uh, it's working properly and whatever the data is available in database it has already started reflecting here and the serial number one two three is showing correctly so let's close this form go to uh, database worksheet and now you can see that whatever the data we have transferred with the help of form all the data are available here right and the same data the same data all those three records are available in this particular uh, form so you can uh, so there is no need to go to database and see what whether uh, the data has been captured and whatever the data has been you know uh, submitted by user right so uh, while submitting the data you can see whatever the data you have submitted so you can refer this uh, no, particular table to uh,
to like check whether uh, whatever the data you have entered here has been transferred or not so as of now uh, we have only save and reset uh, if you think that uh, you need uh, more ad like some additional uh, features in this particular form like uh, editing and deleting the records so just uh, uh, leave a comment in comment section i will uh, definitely add those you know, features and uh, upload a next video so hope uh, this video will be useful for you thanks for watching please like share subscribe and comment